Okay, today we're going to be uh, looking at a program called Q Program Starter. Um, when I went to install this, it was already installed on my system, so I don't know if it was installed by default, but it might be. If not, it should be in your repositories under that name, um, under at least under a Debian-based system, it seems like. Uh, I'm running Linux Mint here. Um, but this is kind of answering a question. Someone asked me, um, you know, basically how you can use like cron job to make a GUI application pop up, and I'm not sure if you can. Uh, I don't use cron job that much, unfortunately. I really should do it more. And uh, we also have the at command, which is similar to cron. And I know in Windows, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, the at command can be set to run in the background or foreground, because uh, I'm pretty sure I've screwed with people before. It's fun to have. Uh, uh, programs pop open on people on Windows machines and they just get kind of spazzed out like what's going on. But uh, I don't think the Unix based uh, at command has an option for that, at least looking through the man file I didn't see anything. Um, so how can you make a GUI application pop up at a certain time? Well I googled that and the first thing I found, and I'm sure there's other ways, is this program called Q Program Starter. Very simple. We'll start this up. Let's get in the view here. And you can say at date and time, and you can choose a date and a time. So I'll just set something uh, about two minutes from now, uh, for about a minute from now. And then in here in the first box, you pick the program or programs you want to start. So in this case, I'll just do something simple. I'll say X clock, and I'll open that up. Now the second box, if you hit this hints, it tells you what the second box is for and other information. But the second box, what it does is it will run another program after the first program has been run and closed. Um, so basically, if you want something to run in a certain order, you can have this program run. And then when it's done running, this program will run. We're just going to run one program for now. Um, and you have other options here, whether you want to shut down or quit after. I'm just going to say OK. Now, this is the one thing I don't like about this program is you can't really close it. It stays open. So you can minimize it, but it stays open. So I'm going to look for a better option in the future. But um, when we get to the time that we set, which uh, is still probably about a minute from now, uh, X clock should open up. And we should see it. Uh, it probably won't start up in uh, the window that I'm recording in. Uh, but it will start up, and I'll drag it over. And you'll just have to believe me that it started up at that time. So. Um, I think I actually set this to 13, 21, 48 seconds, and the clock maybe 15 seconds ago flipped over to uh, uh, 121, which is the time, 13, 21. So we probably have about 20 seconds or so now to go. Um, but I just wanted to show you this program. So if you wanted to set certain GUI applications, a list of GUI applications, and once again, you can do, do them in a certain order here, at a certain time, you can use this program. Um, but I am definitely going to look for a better option, something that can be run in maybe your system tray or even completely in the background. Obviously, you could probably hide this somehow, but uh, let's just see. I'm waiting. Yep, there we go. It popped up right there out of the record view area, but it did pop up. And uh, it does also, when you close it, give you a message saying process one has finished. So that's the first one in the list. Uh, uh, so. Um, once again, I've only played with this for a few minutes. I haven't even read through all this hints section here. Uh, oh, and I guess it says here the message box will close themselves after 10 seconds. So that message box uh, that popped up, if I didn't click OK, it would have closed after 10 seconds. Um, but once again, that program is called Q Program Starter. On my system, it was already installed when I went to install it. So check that out. And um, I'll also look for other options of starting GUI applications at certain times and dates. Um, because I think, you know, if you restart your machine, that program is going to close. And I don't think it saves any settings. So it may not be the best option, but it is an option for now. Now, if anyone does know of a way to do this using cron or at, please comment below because that would be great information. But I'm pretty sure that those programs are meant to run in the background. And uh, at least with cron, I don't think it's possible. I tried Googling it, couldn't find anything. So I'd love input from viewers. And I hope that you all have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. And check out the links in the description. Have a great day.
do you enjoy filmsbychris.com? Well, good news. You can help support the site at no extra cost to you. Do you like buying fun products? Well, if you go to filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon, there should be a link in the description of this video, you can buy stuff through Amazon at no extra cost than it would to go to Amazon and buy something. But doing it through this link helps get me a commission for the website. So, no extra cost to you. If you're already buying stuff, you know, let me help you find what you're looking for on Amazon. So go ahead, that's filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. Thanks for watching and thanks for helping.